back to Arsenal 23. My name's Seth. So we got a viewer request for 38 Special versus 38 ACP. That's exactly what we've got here today. So for our 38 Special gun, we've got a Ruger SP-101 with its 3-inch barrel. And for our 380 ACP, we've got a Smith & Wesson Bodyguard with its 2 and 3 quarter inch barrel. Now we're going to be using the same ammunition for both calibers today, that being the Hornady Critical Defense. For our 380 ACP, we've got a 90 grain projectile. And for our 38 Special, we've got a 110 grain projectile. So let's see if those projectile weights really matter. Let's run some rounds through the chronograph, see what kind of numbers we get. Well, hang on there, Seth. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's learn a bit more about both calibers we're testing today. So let's start with the 380. The 380 dates all the way back to 1908, when the legendary John Moses Browning developed the cartridge for use in the Colt New Model 1908 pocket hammerless pistol. The 380 automatic Colt pistol, shortened to ACP, was introduced to give customers a bit more firepower over the standard Model 1903, which was only chambered in 32 ACP. The 380 was also a true rimless cartridge, unlike its predecessor. The 380 was, and still is, wildly popular among people looking for a small, concealable semi-auto, but popularity is slowed due to the introduction of higher capacity micro nines. The 38 Special, however, remains popular to this day. The 38 Smith & Wesson Special, shortened to just 38 Special, was developed by Smith & Wesson and introduced in 1898 to give a bit more velocity and performance over the 38 Long Colt. The 38 Long Colt failed to penetrate the shields of opponents during the Spanish-American War, so the U.S. government contracted with Smith & Wesson for a new revolver cartridge. This resulted in the round that many know and love today, the 38 Special. Although the case is much longer than typical semi-auto cartridges, the 38 Special was originally designed as a black powder cartridge, and due to the relative inefficiency of black powder, needed a much larger charge, hence the longer case. These days, it only takes a few grains of smokeless powder to achieve the performance associated with 38 Special, but the old black powder case still remains, giving it taller overall dimensions. So, now that we know a bit more about each caliber, let's hand it back to RJ for some chronograph testing. So first up is the bodyguard with the 380 ACP. Eight fifteen. 849. 852. So next up, we got 38 Special coming out of the SP-101. 945. 940. 947. So we crunched the numbers for both calibers and found that we got an average velocity of 838 feet per second for the 380 and 944 feet per second for the 38 Special. These velocities translated to an energy foot-pound reading of 140 energy foot-pounds for the 380 and 218 foot-pounds for the 38 Special. Now these are still fairly low numbers when talking energy foot-pounds, especially compared to other calibers, but let's see if this 78 foot-pound advantage gives us 38 Special an edge in some other tests. All right, so let's see what 380 does in our penetration test. So that 380 went through our first one and really split this second board completely in half. It dented our third one here, as you can see, but we could not find that projectile anywhere. So now we'll see what 38 Special does in our penetration test. So a projectile went through first, second, split the third, and bounced off our fourth right here. We did actually find our projectile here. As you can see, did not open up. All right, so now let's test some ballistic gel. Now you'll notice that we have four layers of denim on the front of the gel block. This is again a viewer request to make sure that these hollow points can go through heavy clothing and still be effective. First up is going to be the 380 ACP out of the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. Reset our denim. Now let's test the 38 Special out of the SP-101. Got to reset our denim. All right, our denim's reset. Let's get another shot with our 38 Special. So it made it through four layers of denim, no problem at all. Our 38s came up to about 10 and a half inches. 
both of them stacked up right beside of each other. One of our 380s blew out the side of the block, so we were unable to measure that one. But on our second one, we got to just about 13 and a half inches. So through our testing today, we found that the 38 Special outperformed the 380 in nearly every way. This was somewhat expected, but what we didn't expect was for the 380 to put up this good of a fight. Let us know what calibers you'd like to see tested down in the comments below. And if you're wanting to support the channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on future videos. Until next time.